The kids fought, and I'm proud of the way they fought. I don't think they ever questioned uh, the opportunity to uh, to win this football game. And again, that comes from the players, as it comes from the players' belief in this uh, system and, uh, that we're doing offensively, defensively, and on special teams. Uh, we've got a ways to go. There's no question. There's things on that, during that football game that did not turn out the way we wanted them to, but. The W is a W, and we're going to learn from it, and we're going to continue to make this program better. Um, I just think the offense kind of got in rhythm a little bit, completed some passes. Um, you know, we didn't try to do too much. We were just trying to work the work the ball down the field. All right, you talk about the receiving corps and how they really stepped up their game. It seemed like you were spreading the wealth. Just talk about that a little bit. Yeah, that's kind of part of the offense. Um, you know, we don't really just have one guy that we throw to all the time. Um, you know, the, the receivers did a great job of getting open and, uh, you know, just making plays for me. What do you think changed most from uh, week one to week two in terms of your game? I think just confidence, going out there and um, you know, and knowing that I can do it, just uh, being confident and knowing that I have a team that's going to back me uh, no matter what. It feels great. I feel like um, there's still a lot of things I have to work on. Um, it wasn't a perfect game or anything like that. just have to um, really just get better, and, um, move on to the next week and get myself better. And I know my coach is going to continue to push me, so I just got to be ready for it. It was an important time in the game. Uh, I mean, the play was really just something we practiced on. So it just happened to happen at that time in the game. It was a good, uh, good way to get us on top. What did it feel like for you to make that play? I mean, it's good. It wasn't all me. Um, it's something Coach Banks put me in that position a lot. So I, I've actually messed that play up in practice several times. Um, so it felt good to get it though in the game. How'd you mess it up? Whatever. Just not reading the right, uh, wrong read. Uh, supposed to read the quarterback, which is what I did correctly today. But just he's put me in that situation several times, so now I got it right. Well, we made some slight adjustments. You know, they, 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 they ran a the ball a little bit more than they had shown on film. You know, but once we showed it to the kids, they understood exactly how they were getting attacked. And, you know, my hat goes off to our guys because they understood it, you know, and they went out and executed it. Taylor Barton's play, could you just talk us through that? Yeah, it's two weeks in a row, you know, that he's really played at a high level. You know, to me, it, it gives me great pre um, pleasure, you know, to see him take it from the practice field to the game field, because that's a play that we had worked on, um, you know, seeing the formation, understanding the route combination, and then obviously capitalizing on it. So it was it was very um, pleasing for us as coaches. He said that he actually messed that one up in practice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> so again, to see him actually put the thing together, you know, was huge. And, you know, and that's what we've talked about, you know, we, we want to be a, be a defense that studies offenses now. You know, for the first couple years, everything was about, you know, the scheme and how to get lined up. You know, the guys understand how to get lined up now. Now it's about the preparation and how are these guys going to attack us and how are we going to capitalize, you know, and he obviously showed that today.